Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gumbo. And over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. Our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. All right. So we already did our Preds recap. Uh, go check out that video uh, for all the info on that one. We did a long video giving our opinion on that. But we got sidetracked and did not look at our transactions for the day. With the right. Admirals playing tomorrow against the strutted Chicago Wolves. Oh, how we hate the Wolves, and this will be fun. Um, just so you guys understand, the Wolves to the Admirals are what the Dallas Stars are to the Predators, and the Orlando Solar Bears are to the Florida Everblades. So speaking of the Florida Everblades, we have Ryan Carpenter and Jake McLaughlin both sent to Florida um, by the Admirals. Yep. As well, I'm checking to make sure I don't got anything else for you. Uh, no. Um, in other news for the Florida Everblades, um, they have our returning goaltender, Cam Johnson. That ought to be fun for them. And they started their season today with the, I believe it was Trey Rivers and um, the Newfoundland Growlers. Uh, Growlers picked up the win three, no, third, or six to three. So there's that for you guys. The ECHL is officially underway. Yay. So all three leagues are underway. Um, tomorrow, as I said, the Admirals will be taking on the Wolves. On Saturday, we have a triple header coming for you guys. Um, Which is Florida's first game. Correct. And they play, trying to remember here. I believe Jacksonville. Ah, the Icemen, where there are there is no ice. All right, the Everblades have released Zach Wilkie and Charlie Marchand from their tryout. Um, and other transactions. Um, they signed Nicholas Blotchman and placed Jake Kearney and Zach Reimers on reserve. I mean to go get a Fort Wayne Tom, Fort Wayne Comets jersey. <laughs> they signed one of my favorite hockey players as a kid's son. <laughs> Matthew Barnaby, the third. Um, the main Mariners have put Alex Kyle on injured reserve. So for those of you wondering where he is. Um, back warm has been assigned from the Wolves to Norfolk. So there's an update there for you Admirals fans. It will not be warm in, <laughs> in the Panther arena. Hopefully it was hot their last time we went. Yeah. Um, in other news, uh, like I said, the uh, Everblades uh, regular season roster has been announced. Um, their opening day roster has been announced. I'm going to give you a quick little run through through that real quick. Um, they've got uh, Nico Blotchman, Michael Neville, Jake Yerbenko. Yuriko, Yermenko, Yermenko. Eh, I'll get it right eventually one of these days. Uh, Nathan Perkovich, Zach Reimers, Joe Pendenza, Kyle Newber, John McCarran, Cody McDonald, Zach McElroy. Or wait, did I read that right? No, Austin McElroy. Zach McElroy is his brother. He's in the next draft. Sorry. Um, Leafco Coper, Blake Winicki, and Alex Alardi, uh, defenseman Jake Curley, 
uh, Ben Masala, Alex Jekyll, Jekyll, Jackal, one of the two. Uh, Jordan Sandberg, Xavier Bouchard, Stefan LeBlanc, and Cam Baker. Your goaltenders will be Cam Johnson and Tomas Vamachka. Should be a fun year for the Everblades, adding on the two AHL contracts that the Admirals have sent them. Yeah. Now, as I've been told by, according to the uh, some of the people, uh, uh, fans wise, and inside the Everblades office, uh, uh, the Everblades will be starting Vamajka as much as possible, but Cam Johnson will probably get opening games uh, just based on Vamajka's preseason. Um, Robert Carpenter and Jake McLaughlin both have AHL experience. Right. Uh, Robert Carpenter played 19 games in 2020-2021 regular season. Uh, four goals, three assists, seven points, four penalty minutes. He has 49 games AHL experience. Um, then you have uh, Jake McLaughlin, who has 28 games played in 2021-2020 or 2020, 2021 season um, with two goals, one assist, three points, 25 penalty minutes. He has 28 games AHL experience. Um, he was ranked third all-star um, in Hockey East in college, as well as all Hockey East all-star or Hockey East regular season champions in 2018, 2019. Records hired points in 2019, 2020 season in the Hockey East also ranked fourth in Hockey East in 2019-2020 with a plus 27 rating, led UMass in block shots in 2016-2017. Career accolades. Um, uh, Robert, or Bobo, as they call him, um, he has no career accolades to the current moment. He does, however, have three years AHL experience. Right. With uh, 49 games played, nine goals, 11 assists, 20 points, and an even plus minus. 21 penalty minutes. So he stays out of the box and has two power play goals, uh, one good move goal. Um, so there's a lot to be said there. There's a lot to go off of. Um, yeah. I, I see Saturday being a lot of fun for me and John. Busy, yeah. but fun. Busy, busy. We like busy. But his busy keeps us out of trouble and scratching our heads about John Hines' decisions. <laughs> so, um, and yes, that's going to be my running joke until they pull it together. Um, so understand this, folks. Uh, that's all I got for you. Uh, that's just a little update. Florida Everblades fans, see you Saturday. Admirals fans, see you tomorrow night. Preds fans, see you Saturday. Have a wonderful uh, start to your weekend. Go out there. You guys got pumpkin patches and all kinds of fun stuff and corn mazes and all kinds of cool stuff we can get to. It's a couple weekends of that left as far as the ha Halloween season. I mean, I know you could do it all the way to Thanksgiving if you want to. I mean, not, not up here at least. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, it's getting a little chilly out here. Uh, got frost advisory for tonight. So yeah, for those of you that have plants out there, uh, make sure you bring them inside within the next couple days. So enjoy. Hope everybody stays healthy. Um, by the way, I didn't do my crap list in the last video. COVID. Mm. <laughs> so, see y'all later thank you for watching